Guys, welcome to Indoor Hydroponics. I'm John, your Indoor Hydroponic Test Dummy. Welcome inside my grill room. Over my shoulder here is the super sweet 100 cherry tomato plant. I am really, really digging the plant. However, as with all of the tomato grill this year, um, I've run into problems, okay? And not everything is always wine and roses here in the grill room. In fact, we run into lots of challenges in here. I mean, not only is it difficult to grow inside with, I mean, you have to provide the lighting, a good lighting schedule, the right types of lights, uh, you have to provide some CO2, you have to hand pollinate, you have to do nutrient changes, you have to make sure that you are watering, that type of thing, and you have to keep an eye on the plants type of thing. So, it, it's I view it as though it's a hobby. I'm certainly not going to save any money on the food bill type of thing. This is just a neat little thing to do during the winter time when I'm not growing outdoors. So, one of the benefits of doing it inside is that you really get to learn a lot about plant growth, and you also need to, and you also get to learn. Um, different types of growth habits and things of that nature. So that is really cool. But again, like I mentioned at the beginning here, we have run into a few problems here. And in this particular instance, if you can't see it from back there, I am running into a uh, powdery mildew. I've got a lot of powdery mildew. This is something that um, occurs naturally, obviously in nature, uh, with plants, specifically with uh, cucumbers and the squash type family. I get it every year, it seems like. And the key is, is just to uh, try to minimize it as much as possible so that you can get as much fruit production before the powdery mildew takes over and eventually kills it, okay? Because once you have powdery mildew, in my experience, you just really can't get rid of it. The best thing you can do is just try to mitigate it as much as possible. And that's what we're going to try to do here today. Uh, there's some different organic type of treatments that I have used in the past. I'm going to try out a new one here today to see if it uh, has any kind of benefit at all. Uh, a lot of people will use like a baking powder, no, a baking soda spray because it brings up the pH and the spores from the powdery mildew. Do not like that. Um, another method would be um, I've seen people mix like water with a little bit of milk. They say the milk inhibits the growth of the spores and that's another organic amendment. And then there's another way which I'm going to use today which is uh, nine parts water to one part hydrogen peroxide. That also makes uh, spore production um, not so friendly on, on these types of plants, I guess, for lack of better words. So that's what I'm going to be use, doing. I'm going to trim this plant up. I've got it topped off. Got some good fruit production going right now. I just want to carry the life of the plant out so that I can get the fruit um, before the powdery mildew takes over. So let's zoom in here, look a little closer on the plant, and then I'll show you kind of like a before and after type of thing. Okay? All right. All right. All right. All right, guys, again, this uh, particular growing method, we're using the grow bag with the Happy Frog Potting Media. It's been only fertilized once, so the nutrition from the what's in the potting soil, in addition to uh, the one nutrient feeding, has carried the plant out to this stage right now. And I have a ton, a ton, a ton of fruit coming on, and I'm digging it, and I really, really, really like the growth habit of this. I mean, long strings of pearls of tomatoes kicking on, and this is six foot up in the air. So I got a bunch of different clusters of fruit coming in right here, and it is really cool. So I just, like I say, want to carry the life of the plant out so that I can make a harvest on these types of things. Now, as you can see, I've topped the plant off so there's no more lateral or no vertical growth on it, and I've also suckered this plant as well. So it's grown two stem here, but as you can see, we are suffering from the powdery mildew, okay? So just because I'm growing inside doesn't mean you can't get powdery mildew, okay? Um, so, not cool, but I am going to, like I say, do a little bit of trimming down on this thing, get the really infected leaves off and out of here because I definitely do not do not want to spread this stuff around any more than it already has, and then we're gonna spray it down. Okay, 
the plant has been all sprayed down, trimmed up type of thing, so the last thing we need to do is just continue to spray when needed and uh, hopefully be harvesting some fruit here very soon. So here's some nice, oh, look at that. That is just too cool. I mean, got some clusters there. Got another string of clusters of tomatoes right there. Got another string coming in right here. Got another string coming in right here. Come over here to the second stem, and this is going to be a huge one if I can even get it to this point of um, production. We'll see. Then I've got another cluster right there. I missed a cluster right here. So. Oh gosh, at least 100 tomatoes on this uh, one plant here right now. So this will be cool if we can get it to production. So um, I will shoot a follow-up video to see if I can actually get some of these things to ripen up. We'll see. So as always, guys, please like, subscribe, comment when you can. And I will see you again. Take care. Here Bye. is a status update seven days later from the powdery mildew, one part hydrogen peroxide, nine parts water. I got to tell you guys, from the first application seven days ago, um, it just about completely wiped out the powdery mildew on the leaves of this plant. I, I, I'm, I'm literally amazed on this. Now, this I just put on the second application. I'm going to have to say that this thing is going to very easily carry out the life of the plant in that I am going to be able to carry the life out for the harvest. Um, that was the intent of this, is just to mitigate it long enough to get to harvest. And I do not see an issue at all with... Uh, being able to get to that point. I am amazed at how well the hydrogen peroxide slash water mixture worked on powdery mildew in here. So guys, if you uh, run across that, by all means, give that uh, particular recipe a try and spray it in your plants and see if it works for you. Anyway, take care guys.